Seems like it's got plenty of light. Then, now I want to show you what I want to get pictures of. You don't have to worry about it. There's plenty of light. Um, they were settled. It's finally settled after 235 years. Well, that window's way crooked too. It's bowed. You can see it. The wall is bowed. Look at oh, the look yeah. at that that gold trim. You can see how it dips. Yeah. In the center. Well, look at the window. Can you see how it's kind of turned out? Here's what I want to get is, is that this. And see, this is uh, where the pews were attached. And then um, you can see where when they added, in the 1800s, when they put the recessed pulpit, where they just took scrap boards and, you know, filled this in. Yeah. Because this over here, these, this section is going to go back in, and we want to leave this exposed with, under plexiglass. Oh, okay. And then over here, we've got... Oh, that scared the I well, saw that black tube on the flip uh, oh. thing over there. <laughs> this is where bees have eaten through and there's actual honey in there. Yeah, holy honey. Holy honey. Uh -huh. <laughs> that, does that go outside? Can they get yeah, in? You can see. Oh yeah, we've had bees coming in here for years. They just rotted right through the wood. Uh -huh. Wow, that's neat. Honey, could have just put a tap in there. And then this here is, um, this is Wayne's cook. Uh, that's how I remember it looking when I was a little girl. Mm. And then they, um, they had used, when they built this recessed pulpit, they had used, it looks like, it, it, this is pine boards in here. But um, these steps, they had used these boards from this side to build the platforms for the steps. They said what it looks like. Oh, uh, when they, the boards that they took out to make the pulpit? Mm -hmm. They used their scrap lumber. Um, if you can get this in here, that's hand hewn. That's the outside of the church. <laughs> you can see the sunlight come right through. Yeah. So they, they are going to be able to put it back together though. Yeah, but we want to. Um, we're, we're hoping uh, we're going to leave. We're going to leave the wood sides here. Hmm. Oh, this you're not going to put the tin back up. No, I don't think we are. Some of us don't want to. We don't know what some others might want, but I guess we'll have to make a decision collectively on how we're going to do that. But we just feel that, and you can see where it's been painted multiple times. Yeah. Did you ever figure out who, whose name that was? No, I forgot all about that name. I've told a few people. We... Dave, Dave Kit or something. Can you zoom it in pretty yeah. much? I, I, I really can't see it right now. Where is it? Right, right, right there. there Dave. Dave, Dave Kit, Dave something. Where, C -K. No, 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 go down. Right there. Oh! Yeah, I've done lost. Dave Reed, I think. Direct Reed. Oh, is it an R? I don't know. Let's see, this beam is still, it's still good. Solid. That's interesting how they got up there. Where were the stairs at? <laughs> well, the thing is, they told, uh, when I watched it ladder jump, they, uh, when I was talking to uh, an antiquer, he said to look to see if there was like an open area 
where there could have been a door. But pictures I've seen in churches, other churches I've visited that had the slave loft, they were built, the doorway was up higher. They mm -hmm. had to climb up some outside to get to a door that went up. And then they said that in some of the smaller churches, they even had a ladder on the inside. They would not have been allowed to come in the front door. So they had to go up a ladder. Uh-huh. Hmm. Yeah, some of the churches had an outside entrance. You know, um, they, they, there was an extra, there was a different entrance, but it was up higher. They went up steps on the outside and then in, in through a door. Right. They cut that. They cut that beam off. Looks like it rotted years ago when they tried to fix it. And they put these boards in it. Well, that looks like that was done in the 70s, 1970s. Yeah. But this was the first rotten area we found. Benny pulled the tin back here because he could. He, he thought it, you know, it was, it sounded different. So he pulled this off because this had the outside on it like that over there, but he's pulled it off. Yeah. And Roark had said this might be able to just put, sister it with, with something. Since there's no current active termite damage or active termites. But you see this slab wood here? Now that's probably from the 1800s. And the nails look, the nail heads look different. But down in here, back over here in this corner, now I don't put my hand down in there. <laughs> this, um, this here doesn't even touch the sill. It doesn't go all the way down to the oh, sill. No. Where, where it's settling over there, it was a lot more of it too. And there's a hole there. I don't know why that hole's there, but that's how we get snakes in here. <laughs> I mean, there, Anna, there were, where'd she go? No, there were all kinds of snake skins in the walls when they started pulling the walls off. So when you... I wondered if that was added. This is not a piece that's added, but no, it's not a beam all the way through. Well, it held that wrap, that beam that went across. Yeah, it's like, looks like. Uh, John, can you zoom in and get that wood peg that's up in there? Yeah. Move that away, honey. I got it. Dad's, Dad's not blocking it. You're not that tall, huh? Well, you, can see the, you can see both pegs they, there. I didn't even come over and look at this. Oh, yeah, get this one too, John. See you both pegs. You see both pegs. I guess some. That one's hard to see. Can't see. Oh, there we go. We have to zoom in. There we go. You can see that that's more than one beam. When they put them, it seems like they put them together. Well, see how this has a little bit of a rounded edge on it? Suppose they did that as a decorative thing. Mm -hmm. See, it's got it on this side too. See here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's come out. That's almost, that beam behind it is, is almost gouged out. I'm turning my yeah. edge. Now you can see here in the 1970s where they put that up there too. And then this in here. That's a big chunk of wood there too. Mm -hmm. There you go. These beams here, looks like a, for some reason, it's got this corner to it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have it on the other side of the door. I guess it does.
and of course the doors are original. Have to seal up all the cracks. <laughs> you just need to come in with a spray, now, spray epoxy and epoxy the whole building. Now, if you can, when you're outside, look at look how how warm this um, door so uh, you know how it's scooped right down. Yeah. Many a week they stepped over that threshold, huh? <laughs> Is there anything else inside you want? No, I'd like to just get a shot of something. Okay. You don't have to be. You can start to see how straight these boards are. You can come over here and look and see how straight these boards are. <laughs> and then over here, John, on the side. I don't know if it means anything, but does the last name Wakefield mean anything? Best I can tell the name was Dave. up to the top. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are those bricks original? In the 1800s the best we could tell we believe. When I come down here you want to see something interesting. That's mod. That wood there is not. Oh, yeah, that, Steve just put that on oh, there. Oh. To, because it was, would be open to the outside. Completely. Now look at this. I want you to get this. See how that, this, remember how uh, rotten yeah. that is and see how it's sticking out over here? That's probably from moisture. I'm sure. Well, it's, it chew, it's eat up too. But if you could get a shot of this, how that is and the great big gaps in it. And yep. And then, um, oh, there's a snake. No, oh, no. It's a frog. frog. <laughs> and some they put that in there sometime. That had to be the 19, 1970s when they put the aluminum siding on. Had to be. See, they did the interior work was done in uh, like 74. And in 78, they put aluminum siding on it. Nice. It's a nice just level uh, door. And 
that up. Oh, I didn't. If you look under here, well, that's been propped up. I don't see that board, that big chunk of wood. Yeah. A four by four, with yeah, in that concrete block. Yeah. was no 1800s block. That had to have been done when they did the loom side. Is that a nest? Bees, bees nest. That's not a bees nest. That looks like a bird's nest. Oh, are you sure it's not a... I said bees got it. Unless... Carpenter's bees. Unless it's a... They use that grass for insulation or something. Look at all that up there. That looks like the worst part of it is all eat up. All that stuff is all ate up. Yeah, they did that when they, they mortared that stuff all in. Yeah. Yeah, is that because of the furnace or? There was a chimney there. Oh. Oh, yeah, I see the. Now see, when I was a kid, there was a, a space heater oil burner, a great big old oil burner uh -huh. there. And then when they did the new flooring, they put this, that furnace that you used to see. Yeah. Now, I get, I, we don't know for sure when they, nobody remembers here when they tore that uh, chimney off. But there was a chimney there. As a kid, we've got pictures of it. We assume they took the chimney down when they put the aluminum siding on. Right. That's anything like we can figure. I guess that makes sense. What about those? What are oh that's where those two rods go through, isn't it? They put those in those old buildings uh, to help um, hold it together, you know, hold it together. Well, they've been doing their job, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you can see where the, you know, on the other side. Yeah. Where the, um, where that bolt, or I'm gonna call it a bolt is. Yeah. That's where it's in, and then it's bowed out between the two bolts on the other side. But you can tell when they put this um, brick thing in here, see how that board is where that was put in there to level the building yeah. somewhat then. It's like they mortared between the bricks. That could have been done. You know, it's hard to tell where in, in history that would have been done. That yeah. could have been a, they could have put those boards and um, those blocks and, and remortared the bricks on the outside. Those cinder blocks are a lot newer than those bricks. Oh, yeah. It's just hard to tell when they did what. Well, you know it was done within the last 200 years. <laughs> <laughs> but Steve put that up there to keep, uh, to protect. Keep all the animals yeah. out. He's afraid when he gets some raccoons in there. Skunk. He was scared of skunks getting in there. He said he just had a fear coming down there someday and opening the door and the skunks in there waiting. <laughs> ago when Deborah noticed that that uh, thing was pulling away from the building and Steve and Benny cut that thing out here in front of the door and inside and he said the beam wasn't even attached to the sill. I wonder if that's some of the, um, the 1970s joists falling down. Because they said they would have to take the whole floor out now and check all that. Oh, they are now going to take it out now? Mm -hmm. Before the plan was to just put the wood floor, the pine floor, yeah. on top of the plywood that's in there. But 
they were saying that oh, he's to come out, but he's going to have to check off his joints. Oh, no. Take too much stuff off, it might be what's holding up the building. Well, they're they're going to secure the building. Okay. They're, they're kind of supposed to be here this week to secure the building. And then. Apparently, they had it so it would stay over somehow in this thing. Without all that tune, it's going to sound different next time I sing in there. <laughs> yeah.